Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to talk about the keto diet. Uh, approximately, I think it's, we're on our fourth week. Uh, we started the keto diet, Dave, Emily, and I, and it has been going well. Now I wanted to talk because a lot of you, uh, wanted to, you know, know about it. And so I'm just going to give a brief kind of Kelly's thoughts for a minute and then we'll go from there. Um, I, myself, I have rheumatoid arthritis, I have fibro, I am in stage four chronic kidney disease, I have high blood pressure, I have diabetes, uh, I have a problem with my lungs, what else do I have? Um, gee, what else? Osteoarthritis, normal, older, you know, growing older kind of things as well, and migraines, and I can go on and on and on. Um, so obviously I'm overweight. Um, I gained like over 160, 170 pounds when I got pregnant with my son. I was very thin and, uh, gained a lot of weight and it's been really hard to take off since. Um, I got pregnant with my daughter and I only gained like 18 pounds with her because I learned my lesson. But at that point I was already overweight. So, uh, due to health reasons and stuff like that, I need to I need to shake my life up. I need to shake my life up anyway. I've got a lot of stuff going on and um, I can't control a lot of it, but this I can control. So it makes it easier. I don't know. So um, sorry for the lighting and all I'm trying. I, I got so much stuff going on here. Um, so, so we started the keto diet. Now it took me about a month, over a month to um, learn about it, to uh, do certain, you know, to learn certain things and what you need and that kind of stuff. Now I'm on a very, very limited income. Uh, I'm on disability. I'm on SSI and, um, Dave owns his own business. He's a writer. Uh, he's a copywriter and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, sometimes money is good. Sometimes it's not most of the time it's not. Uh, so, you know, you ha I have to be I have to watch what we spend, um, on food and bills and all that other kind of stuff. So, um, with all these health issues I have, uh, like I said, I had to do something and the same with Dave. I don't want anything to happen to him. He's like six, two, I think, or something like that. I don't know. He's tall. Um, and his weight has went up and down as well with mine. We were both sick when I got pregnant and he just sat and ate with me and, you know, he carries it well because he's so tall, but, um, if you see him now, like, and you've seen him before, you'll see that he's, I mean, he's almost at 20 pounds. I'm over 10 and Emily's, uh, over 11, I believe. Um, sad thing is how many years ago, I even knew her two years, three, probably four years ago, we went on the protein diet, uh, worked well for us. And, um, gosh, we lost a lot of weight. Uh, I think, how much did I, I, I think I, I'm, I'm thinking I lost like 45, 50 pounds anyway. Um, and everything was going great until my daughter met a guy and they started dating and my stress level went up for the year. And all we did was sit and eat. I don't drink. I don't smoke anymore. Uh, I don't drink anymore. I don't do anything. Um, I even I finally got off my morphine, uh, pain meds. Um, cause I just didn't want to take them anymore. I'm worried about my kidneys anyway. Um, and, uh, yeah, when that all started happening, uh, we just sat and ate and even her, and we just blew up and gained a lot of weight. So, okay. So here we are. So I have to lose a lot of weight to get down to that point, even though at that point I still need to lose weight. Uh, so we started the keto anyway. Okay. Four minutes. You're not getting back to your life. Okay. So like I said, a month before we started, I did research. I'm still doing research. I'm learning a lot, but I have to do it on a frugal, uh, you know, amount of money in a frugal way because it could be very expensive. So, um, I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to, uh, maybe start sharing like, I was going to write on my blog and then start sharing in videos or whatever, a uh, way you guys want it, some recipes, easy ways to get started. Um, one of the things that we had always done anyway, that we always had here was olive oil 
good olive oil and that's the Italian in me, good olive oil and good um, unrefined coconut oil, uh, you know, to cook in. We've always used that. Um, I had some, I, I had bought avocado oil to use. We eat a lot of avocados. I love them when they're not too expensive. And um, let me think what else that we always had here. We don't, we go in spurts. I really can't eat out, uh, especially fast food like McDonald's and Burger King and that kind of stuff. I can't eat it because of my kidneys and all. Um, so I really, 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 and the salt, um, cut back on that. Um, so I wasn't eating a lot of that. Dave and Emily had their moments when, you know, they would or wouldn't. I try to cook. So when I cook, I use a lot of fresh vegetables and that kind of stuff. Lean meats I always have. Um, our problem was more the junk. So I'll kind of help you with that too, on how to, um, have things like we have things that we eat that like, um, just help with the junk, help with the junk. Uh, so yeah, so, you know, that as well, we really are, are loving it. We have an app. Let me tell you the app in case you guys want to download it and uh, try it. Now there are many free keto, um, diet apps. Uh, I hate to call it a diet because it's just, it, it's just changing the way you eat. You're not really, um, you're not limiting anything. I've not had sugar, believe it or not. I have not had sugar in except in forms of fruit which you can have certain fruit but they all have some level of sugar in them um i have not had like sugar in four weeks okay um i actually expect it and i know with all the medications i take and the um illnesses that i have and all that kind of stuff i'm not losing as fast as dave is and men lose faster anyway um but I thought because of the way I was eating so much sugar and all these kind of things that I would lose a little bit more, uh, weight than I did. But if you think about it, I lost 10 pounds in almost a month. I mean, that's not too bad. So, um, I, like when you look at it that way, and that's a suggestion I'm going to give you my family, us three, we're the kind of people that wake up and we're like, we take our pee and we go and we jump on the scale. Well, you know, as a woman, at least, um, and this happens to Dave as well, but as a woman, you are up and down with your water, my body. So bizarre. We're trying to figure this out. And if anybody out there, I know Kathy, you're a, um, uh, you were a nurse and that kind of thing. Okay. If, when I drink a lot of water, which I have to on this diet to get rid of the keto, to get rid of fat and toxins and all that kind of stuff. And I really tried to drink a lot of uh, pretty much water all the time. Anyway, I don't drink soda. I haven't for years and that kind of thing. So, you know, uh, a good cup of iced tea or coffee is another thing. Now you can have black coffee on this all you want. And they have these things called, um, it's called butter coffee or like something like that, where, um, you can have that in the morning instead of a breakfast, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? I get so excited because I got so much I want to say. Okay. The coffee, what the hell about the coffee? Oh, Kathy, um, or whomever might have the answer. So I drink a lot of water and what happens is, um, the water does not come out at first. <laughs> It likes to fill up my left side, my left leg, my knee swells up, my ankle swells up and I hold a lot of water in there. And then maybe the next day or the day after it'll come out and I'll pee all day. Um, I've tried water pills, the doctor, um, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm in the midst of finding another kidney doctor cause the other kidney doctor, he was too blah for me. I'm like, I want to know, I have questions. I want to know why, why is this happening? Why is this? What can I do? Blah, blah, blah. So in the process. I have the kidney doctor. I just got to call and make the appointment. And I'm not very good at that because I just, I'm so tired of seeing doctors anyway. So yeah, so I fill up and then I let it go. Um, and I really can't take water pills because of my kidneys. So there's like, I have all these weird factors going on that really like some contradict each other. I don't even know what the heck's going on with me. Um, but I drink a lot of water and that is very important. You can have black coffee. Like I said, you can have a uh, tea, you know, no sugar. Now you can have artificial sugar. Um, one of the things that they recommend is xylitol. I believe it's called, um, which it doesn't bother me too much, but it makes Dave and Emily sick because it, it has a bitter taste to it and it gets real cold in their mouth or something. I don't know. Um, that's what they say. 
but they also can't eat walnuts because it itch. It makes their tongues itch or their mouth itch. I don't know. It doesn't do it to me. Um, am I doubting what they're saying? No, of course not. I don't know. So yeah, so you can have that or, you know, your trivia, whatever. A lot of people already use artificial sugar. I never do. I never did because it always gives me a migraine. Um, but I have been using a little bit of the xylitol, um, when I make a little bit of sweets. So, you know, dark chocolate is a big deal. You know, you get your like Baker's chocolate, um, dark chocolate, and then, you know, finesse that up. Uh, so yeah, so we've been doing really, really, really good. Now the first week we did it, of course, um, it was Father's Day. The week of Father's Day we started. Was it the week? No, we started the week before Father's Day and then Father's Day came. And my sister had like this breakfast thing. Well, we can have eggs. You can have eggs, eggs, you know, scrambled eggs, dip eggs, uh, eggs in a nest, uh, hard boiled eggs, whatever eggs you like, you know. Um, so my sister had eggs and bacon and ham and like stuff like that. So we can have bacon. I buy the uncured bacon because of the nitrates. I, I can't really have anything with nitrates, but it's delicious just the same. And so we went down there and no, it wasn't that. It couldn't have been that. Whose birthday is in June? What was it that we had cake? Maybe it was a, I'm sorry. Just wait. My days are really screwed up. Um, no, we must have went down there on a Friday. Anyway, uh, we did eat that for Father's Day, but we had went down to my sister's for dinner. We usually do on Friday nights and she had a cake. She like, we all love this one cake and she had gotten it and we all took, we all ate some of it. Um, we were like, okay, we're just going to have a piece of cake. It's okay. Tomorrow will be strict and da, 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 da. Well, we all ate it and us three got sick. We came home and the sugar, what it did to us was disgusting um, because we hadn't had sugar in two weeks and it was really bizarre, like to see, you know, the difference. So, um, yeah, so, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm not going to go into too much cause I don't really know if you guys really want to know, you know, some recipes, easy recipes. That's what I want to share. Easy recipes. Um, Dave, uh, is going to be doing on his channel. Emily already started on her channel before she got sick. Um, and Dave does some really, really great recipes that are on the keto that you can use or some that he's adapted that are still keto. Um, also Dave started doing his movie reviews and book reviews again. Um, he just did a review on the new Stephen King book, the outsider. Um, I'm going to link his face at the end of this video and down below. Go, please go check him out. Um, just send him some love and good luck, uh, on his diet is doing very good. Um, he's very obsessive, um, because he just wants to get well. He's very lucky. His family, uh, people like his grandfather died from diabetes complications and his dad has diabetes and his brother has diabetes and it was for sure he was going to get diabetes and he doesn't, and he doesn't want it. So, uh, he's doing very, very good. So yeah, please go check him out. Uh, and you know, just give him, give him a little thumbs up or something encouraging, you know, I appreciate it. And of course, Emily's, uh, makeup channel as well, but you can go over there and see Emily's channel, uh, you know, for her latest video, I think she did it last week or whatever before she got sick. Um, poor thing is so sick still, but the doctor gave her, uh, wants her to continue on more of her antibiotic cause it wasn't enough to kick it out. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at on her, but yeah, she did her video and this is kind of where I'm at. Like I said, 10 pounds, not much to see. Um, I can, I, I, I've been, one of the things on the keto, that's another thing I wanted to say on the keto, they say, um, to measure because you could go two weeks without losing much at all, maybe a pound if that, but if you measure yourself, you're going to see that you've lost inches. Now I have lost inches and I don't have, that's what I'm looking for. I don't have my paper here. It must be out there, but I think I've lost like, um, you, you know, you do your chest, your waist and your hips, I think is what it is. And, um, I had lost like two pounds. What was the last one? I mean, two inches, two inches, one inch, something like that. So I did, I have seen inches go, which is my shirts fit a little bit differently. Like just little things, my stomach, um, the bloatingness is gone because the first couple of weeks you will, you will pee. I'm just going to say pee. I'm not going to say urinate. Cause this ain't a channel that says urinate. 
it's P. Um, but you will, and lucky I'm not even using the band word. You will pee a lot. And you will see like that your body had some bloat in it. Do you know what I mean? Like you were bloated, even though you might not think it, it's very bizarre. But if you're overweight like me, um, yeah, I can see parts of me that I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? So it does get you excited. It does happen quickly or more quickly than anything that I've tried before. And I've been on Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers did well for me, but it took um, a lot longer, which might be better off for you. Like I said, I'm not losing like excessive weight. I'm losing, um, you know, I guess it's a couple pounds a week. So that's pretty good. So yeah. So that is it. I'm very excited. We're doing very good. And like I said, I'd love to share with you guys. Um, or maybe just put up videos. And when I put into the title, what it is, and if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Uh, but yeah, the, it's, it's very exciting. And like I said, it's really hard in the beginning to get adapted with uh, money, with the food, with the meals. And um, I got a long way to go yet, but we're doing pretty darn good. And we've had some really good uh, meals. And it's really not that hard. It's more counting your macros, which I'll explain, like I said, if you guys want me to go in further detail. Um, I'm, I'm very happy. Like I said, I'm very happy. There's been a few days, like Emily's uh, boyfriend has said like, oh my gosh, you're not taking a nap. Cause usually every day I'm out. Like by one o'clock, I am so sick and so tired. I just go lay down and I've been doing that forever. Um, but there's been a few days where I haven't, I haven't had to, I'll sit here and, and, you know, work on whatever I'm doing or, you know, go start on a dinner or, you know, read or whatever I'm doing. So that's it. Um, that's, that's the good things that's been going on. And with all the bad stuff that's been going on, I've been trying to concentrate more on the good stuff. Now, tomorrow is 4th of July and my sister's birthday is on the 5th. So my mom and dad are taking us we love all, all of us love Olive Garden. Um, however, <laughs> we can't eat everything at Olive Garden, but we have found in places, uh, stuff that you can eat. Now at Olive Garden, they have for lunch. Um, I don't know their dinner menus, but I know what I'll get. I always get like salmon. I get the zucchini. I don't want any pasta. Um, cause I can't have pasta. Um, but Emily is like, I'm going to eat so strict today and so strict tomorrow. So when I go to dinner tomorrow, I can have my chicken parm because that's all she loves. Um, so, you know, she's going to probably have a little bit of that. She probably won't eat the whole thing of chicken parm. She won't eat any pasta, but you know, you kind of allow for that life is life. You can't quit living life. I want to dive into the breadsticks at the Olive Garden, honestly, but I won't cause I know it'll mess me up, but we do have some bread that you can eat on keto. Uh, you can make your own bread. Um, so all kinds of stuff. I get too excited and I'll talk too much. So that is that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And when I do the next video, I will, um, answer them and, uh, let me know if you guys want recipes and, you know, more things like to get you started, like week one, what to do and, and just little things that we've, we've done that have worked for us. Emily and I are, have sweet teeth, sweet teeth, sweet tooth, have a sweet tooth. Um, and we get miserable around that time when it's like, if you don't give me chocolate, right. And sometimes the darker chocolate's bitter and you don't get that little, so we have all kinds of stuff. So it's very exciting. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about all somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And thank you for all the support on my channel and all the comments and all the messages you guys are sending me. Um, I appreciate your love and all the support. Uh, it's just, ugh. I just got so much going on and it's like, I come here to probably why I'm not laying down as much either. Cause I do feel a little bit better and I need to sit and keep myself busy. Otherwise I will go insane. So that's it. Have a great day. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys uh, want to know anything like that and just have a blessed day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.